I'm Maji, and I voice Natsuki. I'm Black Roses, and I voice Sayori. I'm Lind, I voice Yuri. I'm Ali, and I voice Monica. And you're watching the Doki Channel. Would you be able to make a cake replica of a Doki? Ta-da! A cake? I thought they meant a cake shaped like a Doki. Bon appetit! Ah! Have you ever wanted to take another Doki to an axe throwing range? Hey Natsuki, you know, I think we should hang out more often. In fact, do you want to go axe throwing? Sure, why not? That sounds fun. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? <laughs> axe throwing! <laughs> I get it, agree to this! When did you start voice acting and what inspired you? I started voice acting at the very end of 2015. And what inspired me to start was not only late night Cartoon Network and Boomerang like Teen Titans, Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, but voice acting panels. So seeing like the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic cast, that really inspired me. Just I love the My Little Pony voice actors and seeing their panels just made me really, really want to do what they were doing. Like age 12, 13, like, yeah, I have to do that. So I've been quote unquote voice acting since I was really young. One of my favorite things to do was impressions of My Little Pony characters, and I guess it just stuck with me because here I am today. I got into the online voice acting field through DLC actually, and I often made Sayori videos when I was like 12, but you never guess what happened. I officially started voice acting in 2015, and I think what inspired me is just watching a bunch of anime and cartoons as a kid. I would try to mimic what I saw on TV, and then I started to find casting calls online, and well, there you go. It all started a long, long time ago in the year 2014. I auditioned for a part in a small project with my terrible microphone, and I somehow made it. I definitely take inspiration from shows I grew up with, like Adventure Time, Steven Universe, and from just watching YouTubers play games and giving the characters their own voices. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Well, duh, it's Quirksies. Wait, I didn't write that. The fudge? <laughs> What is your favorite human organ? I think the heart has to be my favorite organ. Did you know that the heart beats over 100,000 times every single day? Hey! Give that back! <laughs> What's with that sassy attitude? Take a chill pill! It's my heart! Jeez, why you gotta act so heartless? <coughs> Oh shit. Stop right there! You're under cardiac arrest! How does it feel to be jump scared by sponsorships? It's quite unsettling. The sudden physical and emotional response from being jump scared leaves me on edge. Gamer subs! Ah! Not again! A few months back, I reached out to Gamer subs to see if they'd be interested in partnering. And let me tell you, I think I got my hands on something you wouldn't want to miss. Cause it's free. Gamersubs is the ultimate anime and gaming energy drink on the market that will keep you feeling alert and awake all day long. Zero calories, zero sugar, no headaches, no blood sugar spikes, and most importantly, no crash. And here's the best part. I've teamed up with Gamersubs to hook you all up with 100% free samples. You heard it right, free samples for free shipping worldwide, no credit card nonsense, just use the code to try the flavors for yourself. No cap! And you can even use my code QUIRXES to get free shipping on any Gamersubs products as well to get a sizable discount. My favorite flavors are Soda Pressed Pear, Misfits Melon and... Tiddy Milk. They sell Tiddy Milk and it's absolutely fantastic. Tiddy Milk also happens to be one of the free sample flavors they give out, so you can tell me if I'm capping or not. So if you're interested, click my link in the description, click on try for free, add to cart and you're done. Let's get back to the Q&A. Could you teach us how to summon a rope from thin air? From you past the helvete calaria de Ikea Bruxan Wisning, Yeme mit Boot, Hector Soderhan, Maximiera Tros, Primnes Long Fial. I summon you, Huele Moxriep! See? That wasn't so difficult. What's the best way to hide a body without leaving a trace? I'm glad you asked. So as a total expert in this stuff, it's like super simple. First, take a massive hole, put the body in, and cover it up with dirt. And here comes the fun part. Toss a dead animal on top of it. This way, when a search dog finds the area, they will find the dead animal and then stop digging. Easy clap. <laughs> Payback. What's the fastest piano song you can play without screwing it up? Let me show you how a true expert does it. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Did 
tylko jedno w głowie mam Koksu piecz krom, odlecieć sam Does that answer your question? Too easy What are your favorite lines you've voiced in these videos? The Rickroll and for that, I would also like to humbly apologize. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. My favorite lines in this series, I think, are any of the ones where I'm speaking in a foreign language. So the Japanese lines, that one Spanish line, the Swedish and Polish in this video. Hold up. Hayaku! I thought the lightning bolt shoot from my fingertips scene in the Breaking Bad video was really funny, especially something for Monica to say. I am the danger! Lightning bolts shoot from my fingertips! Probably the crazy ones where Yuri starts to go a little bit insane, the scary story bit in the sleepover video, as well as the intense chasing scene with the spiders in the Minecraft video. Sneaks into the unsuspecting victim's room and haunts their dreams! Since I haven't been here for all of the videos, I only really have those two to pull from at the moment. Can I get an impression of Bafsuki? Bafsuki, you say? Well, let me try. <laughs> Holy moly, you're ripped, Natsuki! Ha! You got that right! You know, Natsuki, the buff look doesn't really fit you all that well. You take that back, you mediocre pianist! No one calls my piano skills mediocre! What dialogue was the most difficult to do out of all the videos? The most difficult thing dialogue-wise to do in these videos was the Swedish in the scenes before this. I struggled immensely. I had to Google every single word one by one and find Swedish people saying it so that I could practice their pronunciation. Was that it? Was that it? Was that it? If you were a vampire, whose blood would you suck first? <laughs> Hey, Monica, what a nice neck you have there. Huh? C could you repeat that? Don't worry. I'll just take a small sip. <laughs> Bite me, Mommy? I, I mean, oh, get away from me! No! I want to suck your blood! <laughs> have you ever traveled to another country? And if so, how was the experience? The only country that I visited was Canada for my family. I'm American, so I can probably guess how I felt there. If there was a counter for how many times my sister and I said the phrase better than America, I think it would be broken. What would you do if your friends turned into vending machines? What? What type of question is that? That has to be the stupidest... Help. Wake up Sayuri with an air horn. What is the weirdest thing you have ever come across on the internet? Weirdest thing on the internet. DeviantArt Wonder Bread Guy. You can look it up, I'm not explaining. What mm -hmm. other characters have you voiced beside the Dokis? I'm Jay Moreno in Danganronpa to spare time, I guess. And of course the lovely Hibiki Otonokoji from STRA2. Six feet apart, please! Toshiko Kaira from Project Eden's Garden. Please play this game. Paimon also used to voice in a lot of comic dubs as Paimon from Genshin Impact. Who do you think you're talking to, little girl? I'll wring your damn neck just to watch you squirm! <laughs> you think my plans are over? My research is nowhere close to complete! <laughs> You are a vile race! Could you do voice impressions of the other Dokis? <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Bite me, mommy. What? I do not sound like that. I could do a way better impression. Please, mommy. I've been a bad girl. Bite me and pull my hair. That's it. I'm getting a restraining order. That's it. I'm getting a restraining order. If you could voice in any franchise, which would you choose? The moment Needy Streamer Overlook gets an English dub, she is mine. If I could voice in any franchise, I have three big ones. 
South Park, The Amazing Digital Circus, and My Little Pony. I would be through the roof if I got to voice in any of those. Honestly, I would love to voice in some sort of Square Enix game in a Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts game. Off the top of my head, I think my top five would be Sailor Moon, Corpse Party, Higurashi, Danganronpa, and definitely Demon Slayer. But I'd also love to be able to help bring completely new franchises to life. Theoretically, how much acid would it take to dissolve a body that is about 145 pounds in about two hours? An estimated 80 liters of hydrochloric acid is needed, which isn't very expensive. Only about $1,200 in total. But hey, that's just a theory. A science theory. Oh no! If you were sentenced to death, what would you choose your last meal to be? Uh, um, well, I really like a lot of food, and having to choose just one of them right before something so sad is really, really hard to think about since it's not true, and you don't know what you'd pick in that very moment, and, um, death is, well, um, ah! Okay, I like pizza and steak and mashed potatoes and french fries and brownies and cookies and oyster crackers and blondies and chocolate crinkles and chicken nuggets and regular chicken and broccoli and cauliflower and rice and carrots. Well, uh, if I'm gonna die anyway, I might as well just gorge myself to the end, right? How are you so passionate with Natsuki's voice? It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know myself. <laughs> I think that I have the amount of acting passion as a theater kid without really being a theater kid. The energy I put into Natsuki is the same as I put into my own speaking voice, too. I'm a very animated person, and it is both a blessing and a curse as a Philam with Filipino facial expressions. Please save me. Would you marry a cow? No. How did you come up with your name? And why are there two bees? Okay, this one is a real pain. I thought it was obvious that the B was silent because, you know, I was signing up for Casting Call Club, age 13, and I wanted to be Black Roses, but it was taken. So I tried Black Roses with two S's. That was taken, so I just did two B's, and it worked. That is the only reason there are two B's. Can you be my Momika? No. 